Hey, this is Noel Crosby at Random Way Music, and I wanted to finish showing you some stuff, or talk about some stuff further on what I've finished, and who knows what we'll actually show you in a later video than this one, but, <clears throat> so we looked in the last video um, how to re-graduate tops on violins and backs, and also putting the bass bar in, so this guy, you can see we had it all clamped up. This is the one we put a new bass bar on. I'll show you this. So we're taking all this off. I don't know if you can see how clamped up this was. You need to clamp it up fairly tightly so that it uh, is really down on the top. I'm not sure exactly what we showed you. We showed you. I think we showed you before as opposed to maybe during, but this, show you just a second. So this was the one that had a carved, it was a Hoff violin. Um, so it had no bass bar in it. Now it has a new bass bar. Still got to do a little carving to finish it, which we're not going to do right now, but basically we'll you know, take like this, or a small plane like this, and just kind of round the edges over. It's a little square, make it more and round it over and pretty, you know, both ends, etc. show you that entirely but so anyway that's what we'll finish and we'll get this all rounded over maybe a little bit smaller it's a little high still anyway that's kind of where we'll go with that Finished sanding, and it's the top itself is already re-graduated, as we showed you here in the topographical top map, which make sure I correct myself on the last one. These are all in 64th. Then here are the back. So this is the top, which is less, and then the back is even more topographical again all in 64 and uh, so this is the hop we also took the fingerboard off this which had been jacked up to give it some more angle these because as I said this this particular one has this is all one neck block the neck it's kind of a uh, I only remember seeing the Germans do this on violins. This is a similar thing that you might see on Spanish guitars, which they, then they call it a Spanish foot. It's more extended, makes it more stable. As opposed to this guy, this medio fino made in France, where you can see, didn't show you this, so the neck on this guy is already off. You can see how it has an entire neck block, and then it's carved in and the neck fits in in such a way. Whereas this one, again, is all one piece in the neck. So it's carved, then the neck, the sides, fit in to, the, to uh, a slot in the neck, and it's all glued down. And then it has a separate, of course, end block. This guy, you can see, we're starting to re-graduate the, the middle. This one's really thick. It was uh, 13 to 15, 64. This middle needs to be 11. We've got it down to 11 in here, and then it goes thinner and thinner as you get to the edges. As you can see, that this guy, back to the medio fino. See how I have drawn all these.
places. This one is, the middle is pretty good, but it's basically all 9, nine to 11 64ths all the way to the edges here, which the edges here should be 6, 7, 8. Basically, we want to have the, the middle, the center, to be thicker to support the pressure of the sound post. And then the edges thin out and become more thin so you increase the tonal vibrations. And then this guy was the Eastman 405. Put the top back on this. Still got to take the, the um, clamps off and finish with that guy. And we'll show you some more on that as we get to it. So we'll... Uh, Talk some more about that in the next one. Well, thanks for checking in. We'll keep you up to date on this stuff. Thanks. Bye-bye.